Hi there guys, welcome back. This is Deepak Kumar, co-founder of Trade Achievers. In this video, we are going to look about the SEBI's new margin rules. So tomorrow onwards, the margin rules is going to be implemented. So we are going to look at all the rules that they have implemented today. So if you took at the new rules, SEBI has first rule they are introduced is called as full margin. So in the earliest days, people used to pay some leverage and used, they used to trade in the futures and option market. For example, if the Tata Motors, if you want to trade in Tata Motors future, we need to pay around 3 lakhs. So in the earlier days, the broker, uh, brokerage brokers used to give some leverage. They will tell if you give me 10%, you can trade in that scripts. So they will collect uh, maybe around 30,000 and they will trade in the script. So SEBI has broken those rules and they have said you should have the full margin to trade in the futures and options. So if you want to trade tomorrow in the futures, we have to pay the full amount which is required. Maybe, maybe around every script has its own margin. Something, some scripts will have around uh, 1.5 lakhs, some will have around 3, 4 lakhs. So we have to pay if you want to trade in futures tomorrow onwards, we have to pay around 4 lakhs if you want to pay in that uh, trend, in that uh, script. So what this thing implies? What is the disadvantage of this thing? If you take a look at uh, this thing, many traders, many traders who are trading in the intraday market may stop trading in the intraday market because of the huge amount they have to pump into it. So we may experience a little volatility shortage in the market. So there will be a little movements, there will be less movements compared to the previous years. So this is a problem, this is a disadvantage, I don't think this is a disadvantage or a problem. I think it's a good a rule for the intraday traders. Why it is because many people will try to know, not trade in the market. Many people will not trade, so they will reduce their losses in the trading. Let me ask you one thing. Many people, uh, they, they, uh, they tell in these things, you know, many people tell that uh, intraday traders are angry, brokers are angry because of this rule. I tell this is a good rule. Because if the intraday tra traders, they tell, uh, one uh, guy told me, sir, I've been trading in this market for 10 years and this market is going to lose a trader. A 10 year experienced trader like me, I'm going, I'm not going to trade tomorrow onwards. He told me like that. So I asked him one question. All right, you've been trading in the market for 10 years. You've been an experienced trader. Okay, all right. I asked him this question. How many times did you make profits and made the fund out into your bank account? I asked him, how many times did you pay out in your bank account? And it, he told me, maybe around two or three times. Imagine this, he has been trading for 10 years, but he only took the payout for only three or two times. So many people and traders say, they are losing the trader. No, they are not losing the trader. They are losing the losses. Yeah, I think this is a good rule for the traders. Don't uh, know, many people are bashing around the SEBI and telling this and that. Don't think this is a bad rule, this is a good rule. Many people will start to analyze in the market. Many people will become an investor in their time. I will tell you this is the best time to invest. If you are an investor or if you are a trader, try to invest in the markets. This is the best time to invest in the market. We can see uh, many growths in every sector. Every sector is going exponentially. So we are experiencing a good time for investment in this time. So the next rules are T plus 2 which is nothing but if you bought a share, there is some trading like a buy today and sell tomorrow. We used to buy a share today and we used to sell tomorrow. But when this T plus 2 uh, rule is implied, what this T plus 2 implies is, if you buy a share, you can close it today. You cannot close it tomorrow because the shares will take around two days to come into your trading account, DMAT account. So we cannot close the trading tomorrow. We have to wait for two days and after the shares are come into our demand account, we can close it. So if you are trading in a shares market, if you bought a buy today, we can sell it today, but not tomorrow. We have to buy a day after yesterday, we can close it. So this is the T plus two and all the pledging rules and the power of attorneys and the other rules. Uh, in the previous times, we used to give the power of attorneys to the, our broker. 
now the sebi has told me you no need to give the power of attorney to the brokers because many brokers has misused the power of attorney many problems are raised before you can check it in the internet and google chrome many problems arise because of this power of attorney power of attorney nothing means but uh, if you give the power of attorney to the brokers they have the power to sell the shares or buy the shares in your account they have the power to manage the account your demat account so it raised many problems so sebi has given us the rule we don't need to give the power of attorney to the brokers and the other rules so these are the main major rules which is around margin rule we have to pay 100% of our margin and if you are buying the shares then t plus rule and the that rule and next to rule is pledging these are the major rules and sebi has given us many other rules so uh, many traders are affected by this margin rule they don't care about this t plus 2 rule or pledging rule they don't care about many traders are so angry about this t plus 2 rule i think it is a great rule for the traders so don't worry if you are trader at times it is a time for you to change into your investor our logo in trade us we always say it it's time to take a turn so tomorrow onwards it's time to take a turn if you are trader now try to invest if you are trader no problem try to trade no problem say uh, try to invest some amounts don't put all your amount in the trading do some investment maybe around uh, if you have 100% let's say 1 lakh do some 30% investment in your account it will be very useful to you so if you are a trader now it is the best time to trade in your investor so if you want to join and learn how to trade in the market you can contact the number in the scroll we have the technical courses who want to learn and trade in the market we teach people so if you want to learn just contact the number in the scroll and they will inform you they will give you all the details to you every monday we have the batches new batches starting at uh, chennai coimbatore and bangalore so try to enroll and uh, try to learn some things i hope this video was useful to you i will see you in the next video thanks for stopping by take care